Hey everyone, how's it going? I have a new quick tutorial for you today. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can use Zoom Info's org chart feature to help select a buying committee during your sales prospecting. So first off, what is a buying committee? A buying committee is basically everyone you think holds a key stake in the decision-making process for you being able to make a sale. So now if we look on screen, uh, for this example, let's say I sell software specifically to dental offices in the USA. So I'm just over an advanced search, as you can see, um, and I have my company industry set to dental offices and my location sent to the US. So in this example, it would make sense that the type of people I want to connect with are within the information technology or IT department and are in a decision-making role, so either manager or director. So now, if you look over here at the log of everyone that fits my search criteria, let's just find a company that I want to dive a little bit deeper into. So you can see this company here, WD Western Dental and Orthodontics, seem to have quite a large uh, IT department, which would be great to pick through. Um, so for this example, let's just pop open a contact uh, that would be a good fit. So typically the methodology here is that you want to hit um, people in IT, but have different roles within the IT department so that you kind of have the best chance of reaching the right IT contact that will be the champion and the decision maker on whether they're going to purchase your dental software. So you can see here we have Lauren and she is the project manager uh, in the IT department. That would make sense. She manages projects, onboarding a new software would be a project. So it's safe to say that she might hold some stake in this decision. So I want to kind of see how she fits in to WD Western's organization. So if I pop open her contact record and then navigate over to org chart at this kind of underlying nav menu and I scroll down, you can see this is the entire project and program management sort of subunit within IT here up at the top. And then we can see Lauren fits in um, within the manager role here and they all report to Mark Romero. So Mark here might be a better choice for me to reach out to than Lauren, just because he's in a higher position. So likely if an email was to come to Lauren, she would need to reach out to Mark anyways. So it might be good practice to um, either one, depending on the size of the company, go after Mark or go after them both. Now to supplement this, I wanna hit other subunits within IT other than project management, because for all I know, project management might not be the right subunit who makes decisions. So what else I've done is if I just tab over here, let my face load, there we are. So this is WD Western's company record, uh, who we were just looking at, and I have opened up their entire org chart and set the department to information technology. So now we can see where everyone fits in. So at the top here, it looks like Michael Warder and John Bennett are the main decision makers and everyone else falls and answers to them. Ali Jelani's in the mix too. So I usually wouldn't recommend going after the C-suite directly. I would probably say go as far as Ali or these director roles Fred might be a good contact as an architectural director. Um, and now let's just see what kind of what we're looking here. We got enterprise applications. We have information security, architecture, infrastructure. And then you can see our project management subunit we just looked at with Lauren. So now if I'm looking at this org chart, um, holistically, I might want a few people. So I'll say 
Mark seems pretty good in a manager role. Who else do we have here? Manager of Inform Information Technology Operations also could be a good one. Um, IT Infrastructure Manager, Clark. Who else do we have here? Senior Manager of Networks. Mm, maybe see if there's any better fits here. Um, enterprise architecture, maybe this one looks good. Kevin, IT director, operations and security. That would be a great contact to have in my buying committee. Software development, let's see. Director, enterprise applications. Joseph could be a good pick here as well. Um, and then we will go with Fred, Casey, and Allie in the VP role, just so that kind of everyone gets the emails. Uh, and if the case that I end up connecting with one of the directors and they end up referring me to their VP, Allie, she will already have the emails sitting in her inbox so she can review those um, and will basically know of our existence. So you can see here, I have eight members selected. We would usually recommend depending on the size of the company, anywhere from around three to seven or eight people for a buying committee. Um, there can be a lot of factors that kind of change that, but you usually want to have not too few people where your odds of connecting with someone from the company is small, but not too many to where you're just mass emailing, uh, essentially an army at a, at a company and just hoping for the best. So you want to be semi-targeted with the best chances of connecting with someone. So now that I have all eight selected, I can do what I've shown you in previous videos and tag up my contacts um, with what week I found them and other syntax. If you're interested more on tagging best practices, we have another video you can find in the Zoom Info group if you just scroll down. And then once they're all tagged, you'll just go ahead and do the same thing and export them to your CRM. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, I would love to help you out. Leave a comment and have a great day. Bye.